got Ash Gibson in the blue corner. Red and blue, sh red and white shorts. And we've got Mark Fletcher coming out, throwing bombs in the red corner with the white shorts with blue trim. Oh, and they're going straight at it, these two. Mark Fletcher, this is his debut in uh, BKB. But Ash Gibson, I've witnessed him win titles in this. I think a record of four and four, but he loves to stand and bang. Yeah, putting combinations together really well there as well. And bare knuckle boxing is weird to see. You don't see very often. A lot of head movement. Going a little bit low there, but trying to avoid those punches at all costs. And Ash Gibson has competed all over the world in all different disciplines as well. Very relaxed in there. He fights regularly. An independent fighter, but well known across the scene. And Mark Fletcher coming out of that ABT. Nice oh. right hand. That's really stung him. Beautiful right hand. These are throwing some heavy shots early on. Ash Gibson again connecting with that left this time. The good head movement. You know, Ash really finding a home for that right hand, but he, he, he really kind of saw it coming and threw a light, nice little uppercut to open up that combination. Moving well. That's quite good vision in there. Definitely the smaller man out of the two, but moving very well. Oh, so then in the eyes of... Uh, I think it's just blood dripping down. There's a small cut on the nose and coming from the nostrils of Mark Fletcher. Oh. Fletcher taking a nice jab. And that's the thing with bare knuckle boxing. The little shots, they, they just make such a difference. You can cut so easily with that blood starts running into the eyes, puts you off, makes you start thinking. And then one shot can end it. Already wearing it on his face, Mark Fletcher. So he's... Going to bring the war and certainly doing that against Ash Gibson. So that's Oi, there's that oh, uppercut again. again. Beautiful timing with that right hand. That's the second time he's done that. Little bit of showboating. Ash Gibson looks loose and relaxed in there. And again, I talk about the experience. Set for round number two against Mark Fletcher. Gibson in the blue corner. Mark Fletcher in the red corner with the white shorts and the blue trim, the blue belt. Ash looking very loose, that left front hand below. Oh, getting caught there off the, on the end of that combination from Fletcher. And a little nod of recognition there. I've seen Ash Gibson look at that right hand a few times. I want to see if he throws it. We've, we've seen earlier on tonight, Danny Mitchell, as we found that, snapped a tendon in his little finger, throwing punches against the, uh, the skull of his opponent. Ash Gibson, let's see if that right hand is hindered. It doesn't seem to be through it right over the top then. Fletcher bullying forwards. And really is the bigger man, you can see it. Not moving as well, but he's much bigger, much sturdier. Needs to bite down and come forward. But look at that left eye now. It's already starting to close there, wearing a the damage from the right hand of Ash Gibson. It looks like they've, they've asked Mark Fletcher to keep a bit more range rather than just step in. Certainly looking to keep a bit more distance, a bit more body movement now. Less yeah. bullish than he was in the first round. Be a bit more intelligent with his entries, but come forward and cause damage. I mean, he's he, they, definitely from those uppercuts you saw with that right uppercut, he's been timed well twice with that, and they're trying to avoid a little bit more damage there. But they're much more intelligent in this round, moving a lot more. But I just feel like if he gives Ash the space, you can see he's very, very relaxed, moving very well, very fluid, and then has dangerous shots on the end of it. Oh, but look, that's just trying to... Bring the pressure, but Ash Gibson avoiding any damage, keeping that head low, circling out, making space once again. And again, make some room. Intelligent movement there to get back to the centre of the cage. Might not look the best, but he's doing well to get there. You know, puts him in a great position to start off again with his combinations. <laughs> and there's the showboating. Oh, dear. Oh, who's going to clean that off the canvas? It's probably going to be you, mate. <laughs> this fight once again brought to you by our sponsors, Northern Exotics. Mark Fletcher with the blue trim on his shorts. Ash Gibson in the white shorts. Oh, headlock there. Standing guillotine there in the BKB realms. That would be a bit different. I'm sure one day we'll see BKB MMA. It'll happen one day. But he needs to save those guillotines until that moment. Oh, nice, nice straight jab. In. Look at that. And you can see Gibson happy with his work there. Oh, big shots coming from Fletcher. And he's caught their corner really calling him on. That was the moment to go. And do you think he needs this round? In fact, needs to finish in this round? Where would you put it so far? It's very tight in the second. But I think in the first, he, he definitely struggled. So it's, it's hard to really say. But I would be telling him, yes, you need to finish. You need to get... And that can happen easily. We've only got a minute and a half really left in this round. 
So he needs to go to work. But op golden opportunities like he just had again. Now he needs to go to work. Good tie-up from Ash. They separate. You know, you can see Ash really hasn't taken much damage in this fight at all. If you look at his face, very fresh. Very fresh indeed. That jab working well for him again. Now mixing it up to the body. And the barrage from Fletcher. And again, his corner calling him on, and he takes a step back, allowing Ash to get back into the fight. That is interesting, isn't it? Because he felt like he was getting the momentum then, but it was, wasn't just a step back, but he purposely took a, a long bit of distance away from his opponent. And that's something you learn with experience, though. You know, take one step back, not three. Just yeah. take the one step, if that's what you want to do, and reassess the distance. But don't give your opponent time to, to you know, re-engage and feel comfortable. You had him on the back foot. And again, now, go to work. This is when he needs to be going forward. And he does it this time. He's closing the distance, looking for the kill. Nice oh, shot. Oh, that, oh, nice combination. Goodness. Blood on the, <clears throat> the hands now of Ash. And maybe he's caused some damage. But the uppercut from Ash just missed, and he came with the overhand right again, connected on that side of the face of Mark Fletcher. Oof, and there we go. You and we have a split decision in favour of your win.